Hello my friends, what I would like to do is show you the beginning of a game that I'm working on using RPG Maker VX Ace called Tenchi Jin. Tenchi Jin means heaven, earth, and man. Let's get started. Um, I've been working just on the first part of it and I'd like you guys to give me your input. Let's go. Welcome to Tenchi Jin, Heaven, Earth, Man. Push Enter key. Directions. Use the arrow keys to move. Hit Enter to exit text or conversation boxes. Use the Enter key to open doors, examine things, talk to NPCs, and activate in-game items. Most doors will open if you just walk into them. So there you go, some instructions. Use the escape key to exit the game, see your inventory, and save your progress. Use F1 to reassign your active keys. Good morning, Mother. Good morning, Sanro. I'm sorry to bother you so early, but your father wishes to see you as soon as possible. That's okay. I wasn't doing much. I just finished my breakfast and was going to take a walk in the woods to practice with my sword. Very well. Please see your father before you wander off anywhere. I know being the third son means you don't have much to tend to, but go see him first. I may not be as important as my eldest brother, Ichiro, or involved in holy study like my middle brother, Nero, but I know my duty to my father and family. Ichiro may inherit the Yamakawa clan someday, and Nero may become a great monk and healer, but remember that you too are important around Sanmitsu village. How? I'm the youngest son with nothing special to look forward to. What makes me important around here? Nothing. I'm a nothing and a nobody, mother. Oh, come now, Sanro. Without you, who would I and your little sister Kimi-chan and grandmother have to chop wood and carry water? Tee-hee. Ha! I guess I'll have to do... that will have to do. I will name my sword Woodcutter and my helmet Water Bucket. Ha-ha. You'd better get a move on. You know how your father hates to wait. Go see him now and then you can practice your sword all day if you like. Okay, Mom, I will. Right now I'm off to chat with your grandma. Oh, and if you see Kimi-chan, tell her to bring her little butt to grandma's house. Sayonara. So there is our cutscene for the opening, and then the game moves to player control. Now, none of this inside here is set up with anything yet except for this one chest. If we hit enter, it'll open the chest, and you can see that there's hard leather armor in there. And we hit enter to close that. And the chest will remain open to signify that we found something. But uh, we've got our sword rack and our arrows. Um, we've also got our bow rack and all of that kind of stuff. Our little bed and things. But let's head on outside and see what, what this air first map looks like. This is Sanmitsu Village. Sanmitsu means three secrets. And the entire premise of this story is that we have three brothers. Ichiro, meaning first son, Niro, meaning second son, and our hero here, Sanro, meaning third son. Ichiro has the destiny of heaven. He will rule the clan someday. Niro, Niro has the destiny of, of man, to be a great man someday. But Sanro, our hero, has the destiny of chi, of earth, to be a balance between the two. But anyway, over here we have Grandma's house. talk to mama here. Sanro, have you spoken to your father yet? No mother, I was just on my way now. Well you had better get going then, but say hello to grandma first. And here's grandma over here. Ah Sanro, I heard your father has called for you. What did he want? I've not been to see him yet, grandma. Goodness, didn't your mother tell you he summoned you? Of course she did, grandma. I just came to give you a kiss on the cheek for luck. Oh, you cheeky goblin, now off with you, hee <laughs> hee. If you see village headman Ishii, give the handsome old fart my greetings. And there's more dialogue, but I'm not going to spoil it. I just wanted to show you guys, we do have dialogue going on. Um, there are many mysteries here in Sanmitsu village. Um, the village is very extensive. Down below here, that's Ichiru's house. And down here, this is Nero's house. This is the practice area where they practice their budo, their fighting techniques. We'll take a look down here. We've got a lovely pond full of red koi. They belong to Nero. 
Over here on the left is Ishii the headman's house. So this is Ishii's house here. And the river divides the upper and lower part of the map in two. And there are a number of, of things, encounters and things already programmed in, but I don't want to give away too much. I just want to show you guys the progress on the game and show you that um, working with RPG Maker VX Ace, uh, there we have some great stuff available. These are all the, the houses of the various villagers here and down over here. Oh, Mr. Fish, what are you doing in the middle of the bridge? We're going to have to fix that. Down here we have all the rice fields. And over here we have the forest with the forest path that leads out to the southeast and stuff. But we're going to come on up here and go to the castle. Well, to the manor house. With all our lovely cherry trees here. But this is a, a pretty large map for the opening map. we got a nice waterfall here with stones so we can cross. Oh, and one of the things I wanted to show you is uh, down here. Here we have a, a shrine near the field to Amida Buddha. Amida is the Buddha of the West. He's the Buddha of compassion. And the offerings laid out to him, like I say, all the rice fields here and stuff. Mr. Fish, you're not supposed to be swimming on the ground. I am I am still very much in the process of constructing this map, but I finally got enough where I felt like I could maybe show it off to my friends. But up here we have the manor house. We have a, another big pond full of koi here. And to the left we have a, a garden with another statue of Amida. Actually, that's right. This is Amida here, and the shrine down below is actually... Um, a shrine to Kwanin Bosatsu. But this is Master Oyama. Ohio san ro san. Have you spoken to your father, Yama, Lord Yamakawa, yet? Ohio Oyama sama. No, I must do that immediately. He has summoned me to his villa. Very good. You must not keep the Lord waiting. Come see me after you speak with him. Now hurry inside. I will do that, Oyama sama. Sayonara. Over here on the right side, we have the tea house. This is for the tea ceremony. And then this is the manor house of the Lord. On the right side here, we have the, the bath, as well as the kitchen area. There's the Lord over there in the center part of the, of the place. And over here on this side, this is where the Lord's quarters are, actually. And you can see you can't go in there because that's Lord Yamakawa's personal quarters. But here's his audience chamber. Sanro, I've been waiting for you. Where have you been? Off chasing around the woods again? No, Father, I came as soon as Mother told me you'd summon me. Ah, it's okay. Besides, your time in the woods has made you fast and strong. I called you here for something urgent that requires your complete attention. Yes, Lord Father. Your brother Ichiro and I must take a trip to see our overlord, Lord Toroshiro. I need someone to watch over the women and workers while we're gone. Me, sir? I don't understand. Won't mother be in charge? If not, what about Niro or Master Oyama? They are better suited to the task than me. Mother is too busy caring for Kimi and Grandma. Master Oyama has other responsibilities, and Nero is too steeped in his scrolls. You will do just fine. Very well, Father. I will do my best. When do you leave? Just as soon as that brother of yours is ready. He rushes at everything else, but when I need him to hurry, he dawdles. I think he does it on purpose. Hehe. <laughs> we need to get moving as immediately as possible. Please see Master Oyama on your way out. Take good care of the place, Sanro. You are dismissed. Hai dono, which means yes, Lord. Now if we try to talk to him again... Please, Sanro, I do not have time to chat right now. Go see Master Oyama and let me finish my preparations in peace. Last thing I'm going to show you is our conversation with Master Oyama. 
After visiting the Lord, we come back to see Master Oyama. Ah, Sanro-san, how did it go? Father wants me to watch over the place while he and Ichiro are gone. Why can't Nero do it? He's the scholar. Or why not me? Well, you must see it from your father's perspective. You're the only good choice. Me? The only good choice? How does he figure that? Sanro, you may be the youngest, but you have the best sense of the lot of you. Nero is lost in his books and Ichiro is a hothead. Myself, I'm getting old. You're not old. Sanro, you're what, 19 now? I was 40 years old when you were born. No, I am old and you are the best choice to watch over the village while your father is gone. I wish I felt the same way. I feel like I'm missing my center, like I just don't have a great destiny like Ichiro or a purpose like Nero. I feel like a nobody. You think about it all the time. Isn't that so? Listen to me now. Look at the koi fish. What are they doing? They're just swimming like always. Why do you watch them so much? They are great teachers, Sanro. They're trying to teach you something right now. Okay, and what would that be, Master Oyama? The koi do not need to spend any energy to just be koi. They float through life. They let the current carry them, and their only disturbance is the waterfall. So I'm just to accept my fate and float through life like a stupid koi? Ha! They would not be very good teachers if that was their lesson. They are in deep contemplation about the noise and disturbance of the waterfall. They could just pass the time and spend no energy while they think on the waterfall, but for some rare few, thinking will not be enough. What else can they do? A time will come when one of them will choose to investigate, not contemplate. He'll spend his force and he'll leap the falls. If he succeeds, the river and freedom. Yes, and even more, he will have begun the true journey to find the magic waterfalls that will, when climbed, turn him into a dragon. I remember the stories from Koi to Carp Dragon and then each falls he evolves into a greater dragon until he becomes a celestial dragon. That's right, Koi to Dragon Carp, then Terrestrial Dragons, and then finally a Celestial Dragon who ascends to his destiny via the road of Ten Chi Jin. Ten Chi Jin? Heaven, Earth, and Man. Heaven, Earth, and Man all are connected by a golden thread of being. One must do in order to climb this golden thread and achieve destiny, purpose, and knowledge. Do? Do what though? Be here now. Living is being, and being takes place here and now. Here and now is the place of doing. Here and now is where we climb. To worry about what we are not is to float like the koi. To seek to be is to leap the waterfall and start the journey to become Ryujin, a dragon man. A Ryujin climbing Tenchi Jin. Thank you for your wisdom, Master Oyama. Don't thank me, thank the koi, ha ha. Now off with you, get what fun you can before duty calls. But, there you go guys, that's a little, little glimpse at Tenchi Jin, the story of Sanro, and what will become his journey of evolution to become a Ryujin, a dragon man. Here's our little chickens running around. And there's much more going on here on the map. But, like I say, I don't want to bore you guys to tears with it, and I don't want to give too much away, because once this is complete, I do plan on giving copies of it to all my proper friends, and making it available to those people who want to play it. But I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at Tenchi Jin. There's Ichiro. And over here is Brother Nero's house. I'm going to get out of your hair, but... Like I say, hopefully you've enjoyed this sneak peek at Tenchi Jin. And I shall see you guys later on. I'm out. Peace.